Floss Tube. I'm Nicole. And I'm Beck. Welcome, Welcome to, to Dee Dee's Floss Tube number eight. Eight. Oh my goodness. Eight. Eight, eight, eight. Oh, the time is flying when you're having fun. Yeah, it is. absolutely. It is. So welcome everybody. Uh, DD stands for Divine Lee Design Studio and we're here to talk about our cross stitch this week. Yes. And all our stitchy time or their lack of. Lack of. Mm. I've had lack of. Mm. Me too. Distractions of children. Quilting. Mm. Quilting, yeah. I've still been stitching but I've been quilting so yep. yeah. It's, yep. it's been a busy, busy, busy week here at DD's. So I managed to, I've got one more quilt to get out this week. Oh, awesome. Um, that's yeah, really so good. That, that's good. So I've done two, four, six, seven, seven quilts I've done. I, I seem a little bit vague because I have a lot here. You're counting in your head. Yeah. Like, Visualising. <laughs> yeah, <which> um, <laughs> and because some have actually been picked up as well. So um, already, oh, which is good. So That's good. Yeah, so, and one that I was a little bit daunted about is, okay, I got it done and oh, got it out the fantastic. door, so that, that was good, and um, yes, yeah, so it's been super busy, <laughs> just insane, and the kids have been home, so no filming's got done, and I had filming planned, and yeah. it's just been very hectic, and we've, you know, pulled apart a room and put it back together again, <laughs> and yeah, so my life is hectic, I don't know about yours, what about you, Beck? what have you got up to this week? Um, this week, I've, well... I had Talon home. Yep. She last week she was about to go to her camp. Oh, that's which, right. Yep. Her cattle camp. Yeah. She went and did that. She come third with her bull mm -hmm. under twelve months. And so, what is the criteria that she had to achieve to get that third? Um, that's just the showing of him and how he performs. Oh, okay. So how he leads, yeah. how he stands, yep, all that it. sort of stuff. She, okay. Yeah, because she they've got to make them. Um, lead and like walk and stand a certain way as well. Yeah, I think Don't quote me on that. <laughs> well, I, I'd assume it's similar to like dog showing yeah. where they make them stand a particular way They've got yes. to do certain aspects. Yeah. I mean, I don't know much about cows, but I'm assuming they can't do a lot no. <laughs> Except for a walk and st like I've seen and pictures stand and stuff. Yeah, well, yeah, so and the, I think the judge and so does she get judged on her on her ability to do it or does yes, the, she does yeah but she, so she got, with her bull, she got third. Yep. In judging, she, as a judge. Okay. She got second. Okay. So she's improved there, which yep. is, you know, she's had that whole term break. Yep. Of not. Working with anything. Working with any cattle. Yeah. Because yep. she's moved, so yep. she hasn't had that at her new school. Um, so, yeah, I was. A bit shocked at that but in a proud way because mm, that's good that's awesome yeah like, no because I mean to improve and not do it for a whole term a whole yeah. term is a long time yeah um, like that's what was 10 was, weeks of not working with cattle because she was doing that every week wasn't she yeah well she's been at the new school for eight weeks yep. but the last two weeks uh, of the first two weeks of the school term she wasn't heading down to the yards where the yep. cattle are to, yep. because she had other things happening mm -hmm. um, so yeah basically and then the school holidays prior to that yeah so yeah so yeah so I was quite proud of that um, and then she got an encouragement award as well so yeah awesome. Awesome. so she come away quite proud of herself which is awesome like that's good. Because she went to the same camp last year and just got the encouragement award. Mm -hmm. So she's improved from one camp to another, yeah. which is great. Like That's she's improved ten, more than tenfold. And last year was her first year working with cattle. Yeah. Anyway. Because mm. that was her first year of high school. Yeah. So. Yeah. Strange subject, but anyway, but I guess you get that when you live in a farming well, community. So, See, that's ag, it's yep. separate, it's yep. the subject, but then you've got cattle club, which is what she all does. the cattle leading yep. and everything is. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, she went and did that and I had a few quiet days and then she got to catch up with a friend eventually. Oh, and we did some stitching. Yes, we did. We had an evening of wine and stitching. We did. Yes, while she was away, you know, yeah. we will play. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, just to, yeah. <clears throat> there was no pressure, like... Mm. I had a lot of people sending me messages while I was stitching, but I was trying to take some me time yeah. off social media, so I didn't answer a lot of people, and I apologise for that, but sometimes I've just got to take time for me, yeah, yeah. especially when I'm as busy as me. So, yeah. Yeah, but that no, was good that evening. It was good, yeah. yeah. And it was just a, 
a whim. Like we yeah. just, I called in to drop something off and yeah. then, yeah, you want a wine? We'll do some stitching. Yeah. Radio. <laughs> That's what we did. And we didn't make any mistakes either. So no, we're we starting didn't. to figure that maybe drinking is the key to good cross-stitching. <laughs> Not <Any> really. Crafting. <laughs> any crafting yeah, on a Friday night. Was, Friday that fr night. was that Friday or Saturday night? That was Saturday night. Yeah, that was Saturday night. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, no, it was yeah. good. I enjoyed myself. Yeah, because I went to Nanango and then... Oh, that's right, yeah, because yeah. I had done the live stream for King of Toe. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. Awesome. Now, right. now I remember what my timeline was. So, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> so, I went visiting over there. Of course, yeah. to see you with the McDonald's delivery. delivery yeah, <laughs> and Beck's taking up a new career. <laughs> Mac is deliveries here in the South Burnett. Uh, I'll, I'll post it. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, you know... <laughs> There is a cost. Yeah, there is a cost. <laughs> you must pay for fuel. And then there's also a cash reimbursement. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. All righty. So what stitching did you get done? Okay. That's pretty much all that's happened in our lives this week, isn't it? We've done a bit of stitch, drunk stitching. <laughs> and we've done, you know, kid stuff and Kid stuff, yeah, because it's stuff. holiday yeah. time. So, yeah, because it's holiday time. And the other thing was I dropped Talon off to her dad. Oh, that's right, yes. And then you brought And Dustin then my home. youngest son came home, so... No time for you today. No. <laughs> or this week, or ever. No, these holidays have been <coughs> different to normal holidays. Yeah, because normally the kids are gone yeah, for the whole two weeks. they're meant to be gone weeks. for these two weeks, yeah. so it was different this time. Yeah, but so, that's okay. Like, yeah. difference okay. Yeah. It just means that you'll have to work it out a bit different in the future, that's all. That's it. Things change, so... Yeah. yeah. So Christmas holidays will be different again. Yeah, because the four of us... Uh, the four I'll of years. All three of them. Yeah, and the four of you are going away for yeah. camping, so yeah, yeah. going camping, so cool with the family, so and then the three weeks at the end of the holidays, I will have to myself mm -hmm. because then they will be with him, yep. with dad, and so. then she usually comes and hangs out here, and we drink instead because <laughs> I'm on break then too. <laughs> yeah, and we and we might even go. We, you know what? If you're not de down Brisbane, we might go for a trip and have a look at a few needle craft shops just never know we might That's, we're, we're gonna do our road trip yeah because we were gonna go to Birnumburra but unfortunately mm. there was a massive fire there and they lost a lot of their stuff so yeah, yeah that we, won't we'll do, be up yeah, and running mm, anytime soon yeah so we'll um we'll have to go and do a bit of a road trip oh i did find another place oh did you Oh, yeah. we'll discuss that later <laughs> awesome <laughs> okay all right so, so what stitching did you get done this week well because we're doing the stitch along with stitch on me yep so these are her whips these are my whips yep so i'm not as in up to date as i should be but that's what i've got done we can't show you the chart because it's not it doesn't have a cover picture so no, um, it doesn't. so this is just the top that's like there's a the frame border. yeah and this is the frame. i'm working on this as well so um this is the frame so or border whatever you want to call it and this is just the top of it so oh, i do have that can't show it's the chart oh yeah yeah so there's no cover picture as such no it's still you won't see it properly, but if you go and um, join their facebook group you'll be able to see yeah. what we're talking about go and do that stitch on me and we can put a link down below yeah. for that so yeah we can, can do that go check that out yeah but yeah so and this is something different to what i've m or my other mm. cross stitches as well so it's a like because it's got the frame it's yeah, it's a I'm bit different. I've not, I've seen stuff like this around before, but I've not actually participated in it because, well, let's face it, I only started stitching a couple of months ago. But yeah. um, we thought we'd join it um, because it is a stitch along and we thought that that might encourage us a little bit further to um, move along with it and all the rest of it. But, you know, hey, life gets in the way and just because you've got a stitch along doesn't mean you have to keep up. Yeah, you that's know. what I thought. It's <clears> been school holidays, so it Yeah, has it's a, a difficult time for us to start anything, yeah. really, because after school holidays and the kids are at you, um, stitching time is totally limited and decreased big yep. time. So, yeah. Like I did some of my mushroom last night. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Cool. So that was, that's my first whip. Yep. My right. next one is my mushroom. And the mushroom that I thought that she must have thrown in the bin because it had gone MIA. Which I said I had. <laughs> so it's here it is. <laughs> so this is, um, I don't even know where my mushroom is because we, oh, see, we've changed, we've changed the backing. Oh, as yeah. you can see, we've got Halloween going it's on because it's October now. Spruced so. it up. Oh, yeah, here there it we is. go. There's the picture of it. That's a little pin cushion that she's working on. Yes. Go. And that's what you've got done. So you've just done a little bit more along here, yeah? Along the top here. Yep. yep, along this middle section. Cool. So, yeah. And then I had Dustin. He saw me this morning with it. 
because I worked a little bit more. Mm. And um, yeah, he saw it and he was looking for the chart straight away so he could mark off. Oh, he loves my... to mark off. Isn't that great? Like she's got a little person there that can just mark <laughs> everything off. It's going to be a problem when he decides to mark extra bits off. Well, he decided <laughs> this morning he would do the whole row. And mark I went, it. no, you only meant to do five. <laughs> And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Wait till he has his own. <laughs> oh, yeah. You have to get him started on that soon. Yeah. Yeah. So have you got any more whips or is that it for this week? No, that's all. Mm, you forgot one. <laughs> I did do a little bit on my quilter's cottage. I finished off my B and started my A. And? She's breathing. Oh, I know what she's about to say. <laughs> you had a moment with her hoop. Did your hoop completely break? No, I couldn't get it back together. What do you mean you couldn't get it back together? <laughs> I'll have a look at it later. <laughs> we'll discuss that I next I even week. watched a couple of YouTube videos. Yep. And I'm like, I couldn't even... Oh, I'm not even going to talk about it because... <laughs> Yes, Bex, when, <laughs> that's all she does when she gets pissy at stuff. It's so funny. Threw it beside me. She goes, she threw it. And I'm like, well, no wonder it won't go back together if you throw it. She goes, no, I just put it down beside me. And I'm like, oh, so you slammed, slammed it. it down. Slammed it, slapped it. <laughs> slapped it or slammed it. Yes. <laughs> anyway, she wasn't, I got she wasn't, frustrated with wasn't it. very happy when she arrived this so morning. So I went, I will give this to Nicole <laughs> to put together for me. I'll fix it And up. she can show me. <laughs> I'll fix it later. It's all good. I'm like, That's if you if, haven't broken it. No, I haven't broken it. I didn't. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't slam it hard. It just <laughs> firmly went down beside me. I just can't imagine you throwing something, like just your personality. <laughs> like me, yes, I can see me frisbeeing something across the room. You know, my children, yes, I can see them all doing it. You, on the other hand, I just and, that, and that, I'm not dismissing that you got yeah. frustrated or anything like that. I'm laughing because I have these mental images going <laughs> through my head, and the pictures that are going through my head just do not suit your personality. Like I just, you don't even rouse on your children, man. Like I can't even see you getting <laughs> like. <laughs> I just cannot. But you don't see me rouse on my children at home. Either. Oh, I hear you from here. No. <laughs> I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you see that face? That was awesome. That was priceless. But no, I just, I don't. Like, I just can't envision yep. you throwing something or getting that frustrated with it because you're so hmm, <laughs> laid back, like I 60s, did. man. I'm sh <laughs> I assure you, I did. Okay, oh, no, cool. No worries. And I did it twice. Oh, twice. Wow. It was a serious business, man. <laughs> serious but it business. didn't go to the floor. It was just beside me. Okay, cool. So, so there was control. Yeah. Not like me. <laughs> no. I, 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 don't, frisbee. I don't frisbee stuff either <laughs> maybe when I was younger I used to get a little bit more frustrated than I do now I'm a little bit more laid back than I yeah, was maybe. like temper wise <laughs> so anyway whereas well see I was yeah I was laid back when I was younger mm. I didn't get as long as people left me alone I was pretty cool but yep. if people sort of got up in my face and stuff like that I'd fire up pretty quickly I didn't have that on that but that was more just you know teenage get out of my face <laughs> Just stop it. Why are you in my face? <laughs> but I lived, I also lived out of town. Yeah. So I didn't well, I have that either. after school mm. interaction with friends and stuff. Yeah. I uh, got on the bus and, and went that home. Was home. Yeah. yeah. Well, see, I went to so many different schools. I was like the new kid always. The whole time I was at school, I'm pretty sure I was the new kid. <laughs> probably not that bad. Like, it's <laughs> probably slight exaggeration because I know that I was at um, one school for longer than, you know, five minutes. Um, but, yeah, we moved around a fair bit. So my parents didn't own a house. Um, yep. They rented and Dad yep. travelled for work. So we moved around a lot and it would be nothing for Dad to come home and go, we're moving and we'd have to pack the house up in 24 to 48 hours. Yep. Mum and I would pack up the house. So I got packing down pat. When someone says they're moving, pff, not a problem. <laughs> See, that's not an issue for me. We only rented as yeah. well, but mm. I grew up in the one spot, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know other people that were like that that rented and that, but the only reason we moved is because dad. Yeah, and his work. So you know, and but and we were only a single income family back then, so you just dad had to go where the work was. Yep. and and all the rest of it. So, but you know, moving moving's never bothered me. Like if I've got to do it. Yeah. But <laughs> Brendan often says to me, he goes, I now know why you don't like to move. <laughs> <laughs> because it does like when you're the new kid it, it, it affects when you're oh, the new yeah. kid constantly it affects your social skills it affects your um indicators of of 
social situations and how to react to them, um, your self-esteem. Like there's a myriad yeah, of things um, yeah. that, it, you know, because, I mean, kids aren't nice. No. Not at no, all. No, they're not. And I'm just glad that I didn't grow up in an era where there's mobile phones and devices and email oh, and all the rest of it where they could yeah. constantly attack me because a lot of the schools I went to, they weren't great schools. They were, yeah. you know, not nice people, a lot of them. Mm -hmm. um, that just it's just part of life when you do yeah. that and you're the new kid. So. That's also at every school, no matter what which, school yeah, you go to. Yeah, that's exactly right. I went to a lot and they're all the same. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter what school you go to, that's how they are. Yep. And no matter how big or how small they are. Yeah. Because I experienced yeah, that. I went to schools that only had school. two classrooms. I went to schools that had over a thousand, fifteen hundred students. Yeah. So and they were all pretty much the same high school. Yeah. That's it, it. High school was a little bit worse, a little bit meaner in high school. Yeah. Alrighty, so That's... my whips. Mm. All right. What have you got? Well, I have been busy quilting, yep. so I haven't got a lot. <laughs> um, but I did get uh, some more of my... Um, so I'm working on... Where's the chart? I've put it somewhere. Oh, no, there it is. So I'm working on my Country Cottage Needleworks uh, Seasonal Celebrations Spring. So that is the picture of it. That's what I'm working on. And, and that's our stitch along. That is our stitch along that we've got going on. We've got a few people participating in that. Yes, there's been a few more that have joined us, yes, haven't they? Yes, they have. That's exciting. And so I I've gone from having just my house and all the rest of it to the top part being done. I'll just fold this back in. So yep. I've got the top bit done and I've started on my letters and I'm up to blooming is just finished so I don't have much more to oh, go no. of this so oh, I've got good. a fair bit done um, this week it's pretty much the only one that I've sort of I've worked on a couple of others but that's been the majority of what I've done so I've got everything on the top in now um, yeah I've got it all sorted so that's all awesome. good so that's that one um, and that one is on 14 count yes it is Thank you for remembering that because I couldn't remember. <laughs> and the fabric that it's on is a called, oh, yeah, it's for, yeah, for, oh, look at that. I should just read the, the thing. See, look, there 14 count. And um, it's called Dry Scape. And it, I like the, the camera doesn't do it any justification. So if I hold it back here, you probably can get a better idea of what it looks like. So it's like a greeny sort of color. Yeah. Um, and I really like it. Like I would, when I first got it, I wasn't too sure, but it's going really nicely on this one. So I'm going to get some more, and I'm going to do all of my seasons on this. I think if you put the white against it, yeah, move that over, and you can actually see the difference. So, so that's white, and that's the yeah. green. So that gives you a better night, better yeah. idea. Um, yeah, and so like that's the other side of it. You can see it back here. It looks a bit good. I'm like just looking at the camera. I've got a mirror behind me, so <laughs> I can see what's going on. So yeah, because um, we don't have, we're just using our mobile phone, so. But that's coming along and that's almost finished so i'm pretty happy with that that's <clears> good it's um, looking really good too yeah it is and i just used the cord four colors in that because it was one of the first charts that i really started um apart from the harvest one which was my montreal stuff up <laughs> so um yeah so i just sort of used the cord four colors um except i used that i didn't use what they um suggested for the fabric and then I have been working on, because we've clicked over to um, October, hence the Halloween decorations, and um, I'm doing the same uh, stitch along as with, what is it, stitch on, on, on me? <laughs> yes, that's the word. It's, it's a mouthful. <laughs> um, so the 1st of October clicked around and they started um, sending out the daily little patterns and they're 15 stitches. 15 by 15. 15, yeah. yep. Um, uh, I haven't got mine done first, so we're at the third. So I've got three, but I did get a lot of my frame done. I was a bit late to start as well, so I got more of my frame done. Um, yeah, so I'll be, I'm pretty excited to start stitching the little designs in each of the little yeah. um, spots. And I figured, well, that's the first half of the month, and I can slowly <laughs> finish off the frame. <laughs> um, there's all decorations around the outside. I actually have hold, held off doing the decorations because I'm not sure what I want to put around the outside, and I don't know how much... Um, like whether I'm going to just frame it or what the case may be, but I'm thinking that like the fabric's not real big. No. Um, so it's not a massive design. This is half of the frame and there'll be another half down. And then each little thing has a <coughs> design in it. Um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to put up here. Um, and it's got the same down the bottom. So it's just reverse of that. 
And um, yeah, and I want to put maybe some witches and cats and cauldrons as opposed to crosses, dots and circles. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm still umming and ahhing what I'm going to do with that. But we got the whole kit from um, Stitch Honorary. So we're using the fabric that she supplied and all the threads, which were all DMC. And um, yeah, she started sending... <laughs> that didn't actually go in the yeah, packet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, that's what I was looking for. Um, so... Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how it all turns out in the end because we have no idea what the designs are. Yes. So that's that one. And then, um, when was it? A couple of months ago, about a month ago, August sometime maybe, I was watching Erica D. House on FossTube and oh, she yes. has a charity, each month she does a charity stitch. And this one was going towards a um, cat. Oh, yes, yes. a cat um, shelter. Yeah, that's right, cat <laughs> shelter. Just like, what was it? What's what's it? So I started that. I got all my flosses in and I'm stitching on 28 count uh, tea dyed even weave. Uh, Monaco and um, it's the first time I've ever so I'm pretty excited about this because it's the first time I've ever stitched on 28 count I was just um, going to ask what do you think of it I don't mind it yeah it's okay like it, I don't know if it's going to be my favorite thing to stitch on mm-hmm but you know it's a little bit tricky because I've never done it before but I think I'm doing okay there's a couple of mistakes in it but do I care no not really because no. it's a learning curve so That's but it. it's just got a little crow he holds a little pumpkin um, cauldron and he's on a, a little quilt block and there's a skeleton key still to go I'm about a third of the way through very good um yeah so I worked on that and but it's looking good like yeah and I'm using um, the threads that I'm using are not the called for threads I'm just using what I had here so I've got um, oh, the espresso beans are, are called for one and the carrot one I got as well and then I'm using a Weeks Dye Works um, taffeta in, which is a variegated purple which you can't really see there and then I decided that um, I'm going to use Sally Sunshine <laughs> for the yellow that it's called for in the pattern. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to use those. And they all go together really well. Um, I've yet to get to those bright colours yet. And I'm just changing up a little bit in the hat. I'm actually going to put a yellow band on the hat. Oh, that'll um, look good. Because it not, has a black band, but I'm using a different purple than what she suggested as well. So That'll pop. Yeah, it'll like pop it. it. And, like... <sighs> Being the first time I've worked on 28 count, it's an even weave. Like it's it's the same as stitching on for like the the cross the cross stitch is the same size as stitching on a 40 14 count. 14 count. Yeah. Um. So yeah, like it's still going to be sort of the same size. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'll keep going. I've got a couple other projects that I'm working on that will be on the different even weaves, and I've got. Um, one coming on a 25 count so I, at the moment I'm just trying projects on different things yeah um, to see what I like um, I mean the aid is obviously a lot easier yeah there's a lot less um, concentration but I didn't mind the concentration on that and like you can see you know so it's over two instead of just over one like yes. on the Ada yes so and you can see everything pretty clear so I'm okay with that so That's yeah good. Watch this space. We'll see how we go. I'll yeah. have, once I've finished it and I've done it a little bit more, that like that was only a couple of hours that I did on that. Okay. Um. So I've still got a long way to go before I. Yeah. Like yeah. do it a couple, a couple more projects on the even weave. Yeah. And yeah. See where we that go. That will give you a bit better idea of whether you like it or not. At this point in time, I'm not going to say anything because yeah. I'm just learning. Yeah. That's um, it. That. So yeah, that's um. So I've started all my Halloween stitching. Can you hear those birds out there? That's that drunkard parrot's tree. They are yes. going ballistic. And that's the lorikeets. They the are, yeah, the ray lorikeets. lorikeets. <laughs> very noisy, very noisy. And then I'm doing another um, sew along with um, Caterpillar Cross Stitch and it's called Deck the Halls. And I got the kit and everything and then um, it's been sitting there and so I started doing that and I'll just, wait, oh, it's on the other side. <laughs> like, okay, I've just lost it. Um, so I just got the kit from her and I started doing, I haven't done much, I just started doing some of the words. So it's Build Snowmen and this is the W and the O, top of the O and part of the M. <laughs> 
so yeah so i started doing that i just thought i'd get a little bit of that in on monday for merry yeah. monday um yeah. So that's a little fun project to do and I don't have a cover picture for that either because it is a stitch along and it just gets released every now and again. Yeah. Um, every, I do have the, so um, the 6th of September is part one, part two was on the 20th and I'm obviously behind and I don't really care. <laughs> um, part three is on the 4th of October, so tomorrow, um, depending where she is, I think she's in the UK, so it'll be Saturday yes, that it gets it released. Yep. Um, and then the 18th, 1st of, no of October, 1st of November and the 15th of November. There's six parts all up and I'm working on 16 count. Yes, I'm working on the 16 count. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. So that should be, I'm just going to plod along with that. And if it gets finished before Christmas, it gets finished before Christmas. If it doesn't, oh well doesn't matter but that is pretty much all I have worked on this week because as I said I have been just flat stick with quilting and that yeah. is a priority at the moment and we're also getting ready for retreat as well so that's another yes. priority as well um yeah so basically that's all I've done okay on that I was hoping to have my spring finish but no so I've got no finishes no fully finishes and that's about it so well, these things happen yeah true so do you have any haul did you get anything in the mails this week okay i do yep this is for my cottage garden samplings this is who it's from okay yep um and it's for my 12 days of christmas cool so we've got i've got three this time oh okay cool so i've got number five number five which is five golden rings that's very cute yeah i like that that is I cute think, and it's got beading as well that one. Oh, does it yes oh yeah it does too yeah so you can see there just across so that's sort of a bit when i get to that one that'll be and these came from journey of a stitcher journey of a stitcher yeah i think she's again. actually got the beads and stuff that you can get from her as well oh, okay. yeah so just have a look at that i will do yep. um and six geese are laying <laughs> <laughs> and i'm not sure about this one yeah i'm not it's either. a little bit different mm. to the rest of them mm. seven swans are swimming yeah so like when you see the comparison like brightness wise yeah yeah i've, I've I was when I looked at this too. I'm like, mm, that's different, but it's, it is cute design though. That is it a is. really cute design. So, have you decided what you're going to stitch it on? Are you going to do the called for fabrics? Um, she will have a design where it's just one big full layer, mm. and that's what I want to do. Yeah, but are, are you going to do it like the called for colors and the called for fabric? Yes. Oh, interesting. Thirty two count. Well, not the fabric, but the colors. Yeah, I might make the, the fabric a little bit um go down in count mm -hmm. 32 um, to 28 wouldn't be much difference really i might do a 25 mm. but you've got 28 there with your mm. which is the same as 14 count mm -hmm. ada mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there you go let's i'll watch the space for yeah, me so 16 count ada is 32 it's the the crosses will be the oh, same size yeah um, uh, and like with the mushroom mushroom it's quite small yeah well that i think is an 18 or maybe even a 20 I don't know. there's a gauge because apparently there's a gauge that you can get from the fat quarter shop and i'm actually gonna order it next time i've got to order some stuff i don't want to just get it on its own because yeah. the postage is just ridiculous yeah um to here in australia so i'm going to wait until i've got to order some stuff from them whether it be fabric or whatever but they do have a gauge so you put it on the fabric yeah um so if anybody here in australia's got it let us know in the comments yeah. down below or um, if you know where we can get, get one, one from, from in australia yeah would be a lot easier but apparently you just put it on you lay it on your fabric mm. and it gives you the gauge um, and there's a whole heap of other information on there as well. Mm -hmm. um, I will put the link down below for our American friends because I think it's a great tool. I'm yeah. just holding off to get. I would buy it tomorrow if it was here in Australia. Yeah. Today if it was here in Australia, but it's not here in Australia. So and um, to get anything sent from the Fat Quarter Shop is like twenty five dollars, regardless of yeah. what size it is. So which is just you might as well ridiculous. make a big yeah. Old. And I'll wait. And then you've got the conversion and all the rest of it. But I'll put a link down below for you where you can get it from. Um, as I said, I would jump on it straight away, but. $25 for postage not no. so much so anything else in haul uh no no that was it yeah. it's just I, yeah I, I've sort of got most of the patterns that I'm waiting on one big one to come but that probably won't be here 
before Christmas because I'm actually getting that kitted out. Oh. Um, so it, that takes a little while, um, especially with the amount of colours that are in it. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm a little bit scared. And I'm doing a little bit of research and I don't know which way I'm going to go. Okay. So I bit the bullet and I bought myself um, a, a heaven and earth design um, chart. And it's the max colours because I just think that that design... And I'm fully aware that this is probably going to take me 15 years to finish. But I spoke to my daughter before I bit the bullet and purchased it. And I know that she, will, if anything happens to me and I don't get it finished before I die, <laughs> and this chart's pretty big. It is, what was it? it was, oh, I can't even remember what the width is, and that's all, all that information is on my phone. But um, it is a big chart. And do you, did I send you the picture? No, you didn't. Okay, do you want to bring up Heaven and Earth Design? Oh, I can do that. Um, so, and I will get how big it is. It is a massive, I'm just going to bring it up on the computer. Um, and I don't normally do this in my floss tube ones, but it is It is a big one. Uh, <laughs> it, it is. It is a big one, people. It is a big one. But I know that um, my daughter will finish it because she liked it as well so okay so it is <laughs> anyway it's called autumn queen and i got the max colors okay so the max colors means that it has 237 colors in it now my theory is go big or go home okay but this is a when you see this and beck's going to bring it up if her phone like yeah, yeah it's getting there yeah getting here. i'm just opening the image there you go. Okay, so this is the design that I've got, okay. Um, I love this sort of design. Autumn and spring are one of my favourites. Well, autumn's probably my most favourite because the heat is over and I'm cooling down a little bit. Then once we get to, uh, in the middle winter, I want spring to hurry up. So they're my two... I just got a family message. Yeah, <laughs> so they're, they're my two favourite seasons. But this is the one I got. I got Max Colours. I'm doing it on 25 count. So it's a big baby and it is 575 um, centimetres wide, I mean stitches wide and 718 high, which equates to on 25 count fabric is 20 inches wide and 28 and a half inches high. So it is a big one that I've got coming and I decided to get it kit kitted out. It was my birthday present to me, um, basically. And um, yeah. <laughs> I've got a frame for it already so yes. I don't normally stitch in frame but this one will be put on a frame it's on a scroll frame um, I picked that up from a friend's dad that he'd made it for someone else oh, she didn't pick okay. it up so I got it and awesome. um, it'll, it's a floor stand so it'll basically be there in front of me um, and my husband said that if I need it to get higher he can just add some stuff on it to make oh. it a bit higher which is good Fantastic. Um, so there's some beautiful colors in it and I just really want to do it and I spoke to Savannah and she said that yes if anything happens to me and I don't get it finished um, basically she'll she won't let anybody just toss it away she'll finish it off and she'll hang it in her place with her so awesome. that's pretty good um, you know so, it'll be finished yeah if so you do, kick the bucket yeah i'm not planning <laughs> on kicking the bucket anytime no. soon but you know hey these you, think you can't predict these things no. so um, i have a choice really no <laughs> no choice whatsoever so basically that i have ordered that i haven't received that yet so it's not actually part of my haul this week but i got these a couple of weeks ago and i completely forgot that i got them um they came in from <laughs> um their hand and heart um needle art and they're the christmas triplet I, so i got that um, came in because we know that I'm a bit crazy about doing some um, Christmas Christmas stuff so yeah so I'm pretty happy about those they're, they're small enough to put on the the tree as well and then I also got these ones and um, which is Christmas tree cheer and I've got those there so they've all come in and I'm assuming that these are other ones that you can get or they're oh. in it <laughs> I like Wally warm wishes <laughs> that's very cute so i've got them and i'm going to get them started probably sooner rather than later or i might just sit them aside i'm not exact i haven't even opened them so it's just on the front oh and it comes with the little beads as well so that's, that's cool. cute oh that's, that's cute so who did you get these from uh fair quarter shop i got fair these from shop? yeah so they i um had them in my wish list and i just thought yeah i'll get them and then i think i seen that one on journey of the stitcher which oh. i somehow missed but you know that happens yeah so yeah that's all i've got in haul this week um, anything else no i don't think so 
No. That's it. All I right. think so. There you go. I um, don't have any shout outs for this week. Do you have any shout outs? No, I don't. Yeah, I've been watching. I'm still watching, you know, the usual suspects, stitchy with my be- Stitching with My Besties. Okay, so we started watching uh, Married with Stitches this week uh, or last week yep. and um, we come across them. I did a search for Floss Tube Ones. I come across them and I showed Beck. We sat here and watched it together. It was hilarious oh, to say the least. Absolutely. <laughs> and then um, on the 30th of September, they put out their second one and now they're going to be every fortnight. So, um, yeah, it's it's a funny little show to watch. So yeah, yeah, and they highly got, recommend them. Yeah, <laughs> that, um, Beck doesn't watch too many floss tube because you know she got kids and all the rest of it. Um, although she spends copious amounts of time on YouTube. Do what? Yeah, you're always on with me and Brendan. <laughs> oh yeah, that that's scheduled in. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, so yeah, but um, sometimes I recommend that she watches some, and yeah, and then you have you watched any more of Chelsea and Priscilla? No, not yet. Oh, no, they're quite... We watched... I showed her the one where they were in the airport. Oh. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Go watch that, and finish watching that one. Yes, I will. Sh- the shower was even funnier. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah, I had a really good giggle at that. <laughs> so, yeah, I watch a lot of fl- Floss Tube because I'm generally here by myself when I'm working. So I have it off in the background and when I'm stitching and stuff like that. So I come across a lot of new ones all the time. Um, and I also caught up with... My mouse has decided not to work. I also caught up with... With um, this one here, which is um, Erica D House, I think okay. her channel is called. Yep. And um, yeah, she as I said, she has the charity one once a month. She oh, usually does a charity one. Okay. So yeah, so I always go head over and I don't watch her every time one comes out, but I'll go and do a binge watch yeah. um, closer to the end of the month to see what her charity stitch is. So because they're usually only a couple of bucks, which is good. Awesome. So yeah, that sounds good. But that's about it from us this week. So yeah, we haven't done much stitching. Sorry everybody, but sorry. Um, yeah, next week will be a bit different yeah. because we'll be back into it the kids will be back at school and life will get back to normal again yes. and i've nearly caught up with all my quilting so that'll be good i'll make my customers happy for once <laughs> no they understand that i've got kids and and busy and all the rest of it yeah. i've had a few questions about my uh sleeping and eating habits because of everything that i do i do eat and i do sleep <laughs> she surely does yeah i just <laughs> i i've been in a good 12 13 hour day and then i crash and yeah and yeah. lots of people come and visit me here so i don't actually have to go anywhere no, it's not like you're out. Yeah, doing going whatever. out doing things. Yeah, I just um, I like to do my craft, and my spare time is done crafting, and basically I have a good time doing it, and then people yep. come visit me and drink wine. <laughs> yeah, so that's it from me until next week, and I'm sure that's yep. it from you too. So yep, that's you'll be all here. Me. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much for um, all those people that have subscribed and liked our videos. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon beside it, and hit the thumbs up button down below. Help us get seen in the YouTube algorithm. Until next week, happy stitching, everybody. Have a Bye. great week. Bye.